today I am going to show you how to record your computer screen. And um, first let's go over some of the objectives of this tutorial. Um, the, some of the things you'll learn is uh, you know, a definition of what a screencast is um, and also what tools you need to actually create one. And then uh, finally we'll look at uh, how to create a screencast. So we're going to go through the, the a step by step process for creating a screencast. So a screencast is defined as a digital recording of your computer screen. Um, so whatever your computer is displaying at the time, uh, whatever that recording is and made into a video, that's a screencast. Uh, it's actually been around since the late 1980s um, and uh, uh, a gentleman by the name of John O'Dell uh, is uh, credited for coining the phrase uh, screencast. Um, and of course, when YouTube came around uh, in 2005, specifically in February, I believe, of 2005, uh, there was just an explosion of, 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 of people, of videos uh, and, and screencasts, uh, people recording their computer screens and, and making videos out of it. For the microphone, um, you can use a, a, a USB microphone if you're using a desktop to record, uh, to create a screencast. Uh, so from now on, when I say screencast, I'm, I'm referring to um, the fact, the action of um, recording your computer screen. So a USB microphone um, will be needed. Um, so you'll need to, to find one. You can get one at most local um, you know, hardware stores, electronic stores, so Best Buy, Radio Shack, um, um, Office Max, and, and so on, uh, and plug it into your computer. You know, really, most anyone would work. Um, uh, and the next option you have is to actually use uh, the, the built in microphone um, that comes with your laptop. Uh, most laptops now come with a microphone that's fancy enough that you can actually do a decent recording. Um, now, a couple of things I should mention is that if you are using um, a built-in microphone from your laptop, uh, is is that it while it it, it can it works, uh, you will have a, a lesser quality sound quality because um, the microphone will capture the echo in the room that you're recording. A USB microphone may be a better way to go if you're doing professional recordings um, of uh, of a you know of your screen if you're doing a screencast uh, for your work or you want just to have something more professional to include in a course an online course or something like that but for the most part most videos on YouTube people use um, you know their built-in microphones the webcam uh, I mentioned earlier is optional uh, you will only need it if you want to actually show your face like I am doing here um, to do a PIP, a picture-in-picture -picture screencast. Otherwise, it's not needed. You don't have to have a webcam. Uh, next, on to the software that you're going to need. In this tutorial, I'm going to evaluate four different types of software. Uh, Screencast-O-Matic, which is what I'm using right now, actually, to do this recording. We're going to also look at uh, Microsoft Expression Encoder, which is another option. We're going to look at Cam Studio, and then finally we'll look at Jing. Okay. The, the first one we'll look at is actually the one I'm using right now is called uh, Screencast or Matic. It's a uh, Screencast or Matic um, dot com. And again, I'll, I'll put the links down at the bottom of the video so you don't have to, to struggle to find, uh, find it, um, to find the, the, the links to the software. Uh, anyway, so this one is, uh, is a little different from, from most screencasting software that you will see in that it allows you to actually record directly from your browser as long as your video camera is on. Uh, you can just hit start recording and it actually will walk you through the process of uh, making sure that your sound is fine, um, and you know you can record straight, as I said again, from the from your browser, or you can actually um, 
you could just um, download the software and install it. Uh, that's an option. So you can click on download, um, and it would show you that um, you know you will get. Uh, it would walk you through the download process basically. Um, but uh, in my case, I actually didn't download it. I just it started recording. It went through my settings, um, and uh, you know it it allowed me to record. The reason I'm using it is that it actually allows me to show my face, um, so a video of my face uh, somewhere on, on, on this page, uh, on this screen, while I'm recording, um, while I'm capturing my screen. So this is a good option for those, uh, and it's free, it's free. It's a good option for those who want simple, straightforward, easy to use uh, screencasting software. Uh, if you're a novice or a beginner, uh, this may be a good option for you. Okay, so I won't hit start. I won't show you in detail the recording for this one because I am using it already to do my recording. Uh, if I start recording again, it may give me an error message or even uh, cut off the recording. Uh, first, you need to download the tool, and you can download it for free uh, by uh, just going to Google and just typing in uh, Microsoft expression encoder and hit enter so of course depending on where you're doing the search from um, you may see this link on top or in some of the top links but you're gonna want to make sure that it's actually directing you to a Microsoft website um, and here it does uh, so click on Microsoft expression encoder 4 so it takes you to the official Microsoft download site website, um, as you can see, and then select your language. Um, I'm assuming English, and then just hit download. You can look at um, you can look at the download details here if you if you want uh, the system requirements, uh, which uh, it tells you if your computer can handle to run this particular software and what is needed. So if you have a newer computer that you bought in the past two years or so, uh, you should be okay. Uh, but otherwise, look at the system requirements. It tells you that you need a computer that has at least Windows 7, uh, Windows Vista, or Windows XP um, service pack tree. If you have any of these computers, um, these operating systems, then you should be okay. Download and installed uh, Microsoft Expression Encoder. Uh, it, it includes a uh, and this, uh, something called Microsoft Expression Encoder uh, for uh, screen capture. So the screen capture is what you want to use. Um, and uh, so when you start it, uh, you can locate the screen capture. In my case, I just did a quick search. Uh, it's one way of accessing it. Uh, and you know, did uh, typed in encoder, and it came up. So I clicked on it, and it came up for me. Um, you should be able to do the same uh, on your on your computer. And then just hit record. It immediately starts a uh, um, a window uh, and gives you this box that you can see right here, where it says select a region. This is a standard uh, option that you see in most screencasting software, where it allows you to capture part of your screen or your entire screen. So you have an option. Uh, so if you click on this. As you can see, it will give you a cursor um, and a target where you could select which part of your screen you want to capture. Uh, and then, you know, you could hit record to record um, that part of the screen. So it's pretty straightforward. Okay. And you can certainly play around with it to, uh, to see what kind of um, uh, uh, quality of recording you'll have. I tried it and it's pretty decent, it's pretty good, and, and it's free. So. Cam Studio uh, is an open source tool that's, uh, again, it's free. Uh, first, you'll need to download it like we did before. You want to go to, uh, it's camstudio.org. And again, I'll include these links at the bottom of the video uh, so you can easily find them. Uh, camstudio.org. Uh, when you go to camstudio.org, um, scroll down to the bottom of the page to find the download link. Uh, it's this big green button, um, and you know, click download. It would give you a file uh, that you can download. 
um, and of course open the file um, and install it on your computer uh, to actually run the software. After you've installed the, the file, uh, you can launch the software um, and uh, this is what you're going to get. It looks like this. Uh, so it's this small box here. Um, and it, it has some very basic controls, uh, you know, your record button, your pause, stop buttons. Um, so it's, you know, it's got other options, uh, but really what you need to do to, to know is just how to start, stop, and you can play around with it. Um, it's very simplistic, but it, it works and it's free. Uh, and it, it has some of the same options as other screencasting software, meaning that it will allow you to choose which part of your screen you want to select the whole screen, part of the screen, the entire screen. Um, and, um, you know, so if you play around with it, you could just record and then give it a try um, on your own. Uh, I have a couple, uh, I'm already recording my screen, so that's why I'm getting this error message. Uh, but I tried it before on its own and it works just fine. Um, and of course, um, once you record the file, you can save it to your computer. Um, so you can actually view it and upload it on YouTube, okay? Uh, Jing is a, uh, um, a screen capture, screencast software that is um, provided by TechSmith. But anyway, Jing, uh, it's the same company that makes uh, uh, Camtasia that makes uh, this software, Jing. Uh, you can download it for Mac or for Windows and after you do the download again uh, go through the motions of in installing it and then starting the software uh, the one thing with Jing is that after you download it, it it's a little different in terms of how accessibility um, it, it shows up on your uh, it puts this little circle semicircle uh, half circle on your on the top of your window on the top of your screen so you can easily access it uh, if you want to run it um, um, and it's right now it's outside the range of my screen I'm not sure if you can see it uh, right now but if if I hover over it uh, I get uh, you know it's the, op the options you see here and I can tell it to select um, uh, to do a, a, a capture or look at history or look at more options but you want to select capture which is this plus button inside a circle that you see which allows you to pick which part of your screen you want to record again it's a, a familiar feature uh, that we see in others and then you will get this small uh, you're gonna get a small what looks like a, a, a toolbox that has different options uh, where you can capture an image uh, capture a video um, or you know redo a selection or, or cancel so if you hit capture a video, uh, I hope you guys can see this on my screen here. Uh, capture a video, then you get the option of uh, of continuing to do the recording. It's also going to show uh, the input from your microphone. In other words, your voice uh, the, and your voice level. As I'm talking, you can see it's showing uh, that the microphone is picking it up and at what levels. Um, so and hit continue. Uh, then it will give you a countdown, three, two, one, and then it will start recording. Uh, when you're done recording, you can just stop the recording, save the file, and then, uh, you know, if you have, if you want to edit the file, you could do that, um, or you could just download it.